Hey friends, welcome back to my channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel series that is currently running into my channel. So friends, today's video will be included into the Microsoft Excel miscellaneous series playlist that can be found in my channel. So today we are going to learn the process to generate the ratio of two numbers to each other like 4 is to 3, 16 is to 9, etc. You can do this using division or the GCD function. To learn about this formula briefly, watch this video till the end. This is your host Pritham and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome back friends. For your easy reference as usual I am going to run the on screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. Friends I have already created a file previously let's open that file. So suppose you have a data file like this and you have to calculate the ratio of this value and this value, value 1 and value 2. To generate the ratio of two numbers to each other, you can do this using division function and the concatenation. In the generic form of this formula, the formula will be like this. Look at here carefully. You can notice here the formula I have written here already equals to then I have given before. Before means you have to at first select the value 1 okay then put the division or slash symbol then open the first bracket then write GCD formula here then again open the first bracket then give the value 1 here note carefully after giving the value 1 you have to put a comma then give the value 2 here right then close the brackets you have to close the two brackets because of one of this and one of this right then put an ampersand symbol here open the double quotation because we have to generate ratio and we are going to use the colon symbol here then close the double inverted comma then again put an ampersand symbol here then select the value 2 here note carefully in the first formula we have selected the value 1 and now we are selecting the value 2 right then again put a division or slash symbol then open the first bracket write gcd here we are going to use the gcd function here then now Similarly, we have to select at first the value 1, then put a comma and select the value 2 here. Then close the brackets like this and simply hit the enter button. Look at here friends, we have got accurate result as ratio. And if you change the value here and here also, it will show you 1 is to 1 that means it is actually correct right and if you copy the formula from upside down it will show you the accurate result but note carefully the GCD function only works with integers so let's check how this formula actually works this formula actually looks complicated but at the core it is quite simple and created into two parts like so on the left the gcd function is used to calculate the greatest common divisor that means gcd greatest common divisor of the two numbers then the first number is divided by the gcd on the right the same operation are performed with the second number 
Next, the result of the right and left operations are joined together using this one and we have used the ampersand symbol. This is a concatenation with the colon as a separator. Note carefully friends, the final result of this formula is a text value, not a number value, right? So that's all for today friends, hopefully you have learned a new trick of Microsoft Excel today. Share this video with your friends. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section. Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and stay tuned.